Well, it's Halloween, and it's time for me to get more productive than ever, because we have fall break during this time. So yeah, that's all I care about during the Halloween season. Well, right now, Roblox used to do these things called Hallow's Eve events, and I would be pretty excited for them, but Roblox says that these events are too expensive, despite not even paying their developers. So, they kind of stopped. Now, all they do for Halloween season is rely on UGC creators to think of something. All we got this year is whatever this shit is supposed to be, and the Headless Horseman, which costs like 100 USD. Anyways, enough of harassing Roblox. I don't want to be on Takoya's hit list after all. I will be reviewing Hallow's Eve 2017 and 2018, as these were the only Hallow's Eve events that I played. Anyways, I won't bother you with the cringy intro I did last year, so let's start reviewing Hallow's Eve 2017. So, let's talk about the actual event itself. So this was taking the normal approach of events, three games with two prizes each. Now the problem is, I did this event when it was glitched. If you don't know what a glitched event is, basically it's an event where you can get the prize after the event ends, so like, you get Hallow's Eve 2017 prizes from the main game only, even during February 2018. So this means I won't review the other two games, they probably were boring anyway. So the main game, the custom game, it's cool. For the background footage, I will need to use a different account, so let me see. Oh, I'll use Joe Gattered 1. Perfect. Anyways, we're kinda getting a bit off topic. Loading into the main hub, it looks really nice. This kinda reminds me of a murder mystery 2 lobby, I have no idea why. I really like the Halloween vibe it has, it brings out the Halloween spirit or whatever. Anyways, let's go through door, because this is what you're supposed to do. Once you do that, you get warped into a maze, labyrinth, whatever, and you have to find four different worlds. These wor worlds can take 30 seconds to find, or 10 minutes, depending on how lucky and cooperative you are. The first world you're supposed to find is the Witcher's Hold. This world is pretty interesting. There are three quests here. The first one is you having to find four potions, and then doing the Witch's House, but uh, that's broken. I also this did this quest without doing that, so uh... I, I don't know how this quest is supposed to function. The next quest is finding the king's soul. I actually like this objective. It was interesting. And solving it without a tu tutorial was decently fun. And the final objective, capture six scarecrows. This quest is pretty annoying, but it's creative. Cool. Moving on, that's the entire world. Hooray. The second world in chronological order is Sleepy Hollow. Easily the most disliked world in this event. I personally struggled the first time I did this world, but the second time it was a breeze. This world had one objective, which is to give man his head back. You have to do various tedious tasks, and congrats, you got his head back. This world wasn't really the fun, but hey, I like the effort. The third world is Oldie Towny, which is broken! Thank you, Roblox, very cool. Ignoring that, for the first quest, you had to find an amulet of some sort for this person. Easy enough, but the other quests in my opinion are more interesting. Sadly, they are broken, but for one you had to go through this abandoned li library to get bouquet, I think. And for the other one, you had to s do something related with rings, I think. I don't know. But it was still decently fun and creative. I liked it. If only this world actually functioned. <sighs> the fourth and technically last world is Zombie Town or it's nerve or nothing. Again, this world is broken and isn't that interesting. Just shoot Zombubla with the funny nerf gun, which you should totally spend your life savings on, and congrats, you completed the world. Now for the finale, Stein's Lab. This is what I enjoyed the most about this game, and you'll never guess, it's broken! I really wish this event was still up to date. I know there's no reason to update this game, but I am really sad that the best part is broken. Well, basically, you press lever, then run away from Frankenstein, that's what it was. But it's a broken, sad face. So, let's take a look at the prizes. The skeletal crown looks really good, and it reminds me of the Ready Player One crown. I really like it. Nerf Zombie Strike Dreadbolt gear thing isn't really that good. I mean, it's a gear. Skeletal shoulder pads look decent. I'm actually wearing these on my alt accounts, so they aren't that bad. The Nerf Zombie Strike scarf gives me a lot of nostalgia, as my friend Lore6PM used to wear this item back in like 2017 and 2018. Ah, the good old days when I liked MM2 and there were good events. Ghostly Trickhorn hat looks decent, I guess. 
The Nerf Fedora is fine, but it's a Nerf Fedora. The grand prize, in my opinion, doesn't look that good, but that's just my opinion. So, ignoring the really annoying bugs, what do I think of this event? It's good, but I wish it wasn't as buggy. I will, th I will talk about it more in the conclusion section, where I will show the rating. Hallow's Eve 2018 is an interesting event. The main gimmick of the event is that you have to go through door. This event featured 11 games, but only 3 of them have actual objectives. So let's ignore the other 7 games that probably had actual potential to have good and original quests. The main lobby, Sinister Swamp, looks really good. I like the atmosphere. It really does capture the theme of the event. For a lobby, this looks awesome, and even has riots? Like, whoa, this event is gonna be so good! Well, sadly no. There are only three games with actual objectives. Dark and Moor, Escape Room, and Robloxian High School. Let's start with Dark and Moor. The first objective for the Elder's Wand is to talk to Edvin, then help him find the Zuvu briefcase and the Lure. This was annoyingly difficult sometimes, as the Lure was annoying to find as randomly generated. You can find it in 30 seconds or in 30 games. This briefcase, the briefcase wasn't that bad to get. The other, the other prize is the Skeletal Mask. You have to kill Funny Bra Boss. Congrats, you get masks like the COVID one. Next up, Robloxian High School. To get Stick Bug, you have to click five things. So fun, because I did this with a Connor 2D tutorial. To get Mad Cat, you have to complete Grass Maze with Monster. Oh no! Still fairly easy. I don't really like Robloxian High School, but the objective with the maze wasn't the worst. And finally, Escape Room. Now, the first prize wasn't that bad, you just have to complete the new map. This, this is a very creative object objective, I know. But the other objective is interesting. To get the Niffler, you have to first begin the quest by clicking on the briefcase in the lobby. Cash the Niffler by walking up to it on the Treasure Cave single-player map, then by clicking on it in three different locations on the Prison Break single-player map, and finally touch it one last time on the Twilight Manor multiplayer map. This one was pretty annoying to me, but I did it, so that's all that matters. Now for the prizes. There were a lot of hats you could get from this event, so I won't go too much into detail for some of these hats. Here Lies looks cool. This is just me after 10 years if I don't stop gaming for 10 hours a day. Spider Antlers look decent. Clown Head is just Bonzo from Skyblock. Sprightly Shroud looks good. I like it. Pumpkin Backpack is meh. I am not the biggest fan of it. All the gears are useless because you can't use them. Spider headphones look kind of ugly. Cat eye glasses look even worse. Pumpkin Fedora looks amazing and comes from a good game. Grim Reaper Hood looks very good too. Mad Cat looks really bad. Stig Bug is meh and Skeletal Mask is decent. The grand prize is gear, so it's bad. This event was pretty disappointing, but the prizes weren't too bad. The building looked good, but it lacks objectives and really seems like a missed opportunity. So, in conclusion, how good are these two events? Hallow's Eve 2017 was really good and gives me a bunch of nostalgia. I really hate how buggy it is, and I want to replay it. Hopefully it gets fixed. I wasn't able to play this event when it came out, sadly, but hey, at least I got the prizes from the main game. I give this event an 8.5 out of 10. For Hallow's Eve 2018, the event could have had more thought put into it. I believe it could have been a good event, and it definitely had potential. It did some things right, like the building, the prizes were pretty good, and the concept was not that bad, but the execution was pretty terrible. I can give this event a 7 out of 10. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry for this video being late. This video took longer than I thought it would. So now I will go work on a project that I almost spoiled in my Roblox is kind of boring video. Good night, my grown-ups and founders of Golden Gym.